my vegan, my vegetarian Africans. I did not stop at the McDonald's last night. I didn't. I don't know how this got in my room. Somebody trying to set me up. I did not stop at McDonald's. They trying to set me up. I did not stop at McDonald's. I didn't. I did not do that. I'm working on my diet. Maybe I was sleepwalking last night and I might in my sleepwalking, I might have went through the drive through without being conscious. I might have went through the drive through while I was sleepwalking and I might have got me a fish fillet. Computers are bad for our children's eyes. Everybody's going to need glasses if we're going to raise our children on computer screens. Be careful. The computer screen is not the friend of your child's eyes. Why aren't your celebrity friends funding your dreams? I'm going to let you meditate on that question. I think the question is very obvious if you know me and you know them. I'm going to let you meditate on that question because I think the answer is very obvious if you know me and you know them. Shout out to the live alkaline water. Get your live alkaline water. Get your live alkaline water, brothers and sisters. Get your live alkaline water. Get your live alkaline water, King Paul. I pulled up at about 11.30 last night. I don't know how this got in my hotel room. I don't know how this got in my hotel room because I know I didn't stop at McDonald's. I don't know how this got in my hotel room because I know I didn't stop at McDonald's, brothers and sisters. I'm telling you, I have no recollection of stopping at McDonald's. I don't know how this got in my room. Somebody put this in my room last night. It wasn't me. Somebody put this, my vegan Africans, my vegan Africans, my vegan, my vegetarian Africans. I did not stop at the McDonald's last night. I didn't. I don't know how this got in my room. Somebody trying to set me up. I did not stop at McDonald's. They trying to set me up. I need you to understand, overstand and understand me. I need you to understand, overstand, and understand me. I did not stop at McDonald's. I didn't. I did not do that. I'm working on my diet. Maybe I was sleepwalking last night. I might have was sleepwalking last night. I might have sleep sleptwalk last night. And I might in my sleepwalking, I might have went through the drive-thru without being conscious. I might have went through the drive through while I was sleepwalking and I might have got me a fish fillet. I might have got me a fish fillet meal. I, I can't remember. I can't remember. Don't charge it to my head. My heart charge it to my head. Sometimes I'll be sleepwalking through the hood. If you ever catch King Kong sleepwalking through the hood, I need you to just wake me up a little bit. Shake me up, Dr. Umar. You sleepwalking. You, you sleepwalking right now. I think I might have accidentally was sleepwalking and I walked through the McDonald's drive through and got a fish fillet meal because it was 1130 at night. I was kind of hungry. I was tired and I might have accidentally had a REM sleep, a deep REM sleep sleepwalk. And I might have accidentally picked up a fish fillet. Charge it to my head, not my heart, vegetarians. Charge it to my head, not my heart, vegetarians. Charge it to my head, not my heart, my vegan Africans. OK. I thought I was dreaming, but I might have been sleepwalking because I woke up and this was in the bed with me. I woke up and this was in the bed with me. So let's get back to the message. I'm going to get it out my system with the alkaline. I'm going to flush it out with the alkaline water. I'm going to flush it out with the alkaline water. I'm going to flush it out with the alkaline water. I'm going to flush out the filet of fish. It was late. I was tired. I was sleepwalking. I had no control over. I was I was sleepwalking. I'm going to flush it out with the alkaline water. Number three, black parents. Number three, document, document, document. The biggest mistake black parents make is you do not document 
White culture is based on documentation. If you don't keep a log, if you don't keep a journal, if you don't keep a paper trail, if you don't keep an email trail, you will never win your complaint against your child's teacher. You will never win your complaint against your child's IEP team. You will never win your complaint against your child's school. Stop being lazy. You have a cell phone. You have a cell phone. You have a cell phone. So when you leave the meeting, go to your audio messages and do a quick one minute audio message. Today, I met with Principal Slobenberger at We Hate Black Children Charter School in Baltimore, Maryland. We Hate Black Children Charter School, Capitol Heights, Maryland. We Hate Black Children Charter School, Eastern Shore, Maryland. He told me that he was going to remove the suspension from my child's record because this should have been a detention, not a suspension. There you go. Because you're not going to remember that six months from now. You're not going to remember that three months from now. You have too much going on in your life. You need documentation. Document everything. Special ed parents, document. Regular ed parents, document. Gifted parents, document. College prep parents, document. Low achieving student parents, document. And for you parents who got children who don't know how to behave, for you parents who don't have children, who have children who don't know how to behave, for you parents who have children who don't know how to behave, you better be documenting every day because you're going to need all your notes to save your badass child. You're going to need all your notes to save your badass child. You're going to need all your notes to save your badass child. I know it's not easy, single mothers. I know it's not easy, single fathers. I know it's not easy, single mothers. I know it's not easy, single fathers. That's why I'm about to put together an academic explosion for black parents. What do y'all think about that? I'm going to do five academic explosion conferences. I'm going to do five single black parent conferences. What do y'all think about that? Married black parents can come too, but we're going to focus on single black parents. What do y'all think about a single black parents conference? What do y'all think about a conference for the single black mother, the single black father, the auntie, the uncle, the big brother, the big sister, the grandparent who's raising their... What do y'all think about a Dr. Umar single black parent conference explosion? What do y'all think about that? What do y'all think about that? So this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. And the first one is probably going to be in Maryland. The first one is probably going to be in Maryland. The first one is probably going to be right here in Maryland. If any of you want to present at the single black parents conference, if you are a nurse, a therapist, if you are a we're going to have a black book bazaar. OK. We're going to have a black book fair at the single black parents. So if you're a black author, if you have children's books or books for black parents, no ghetto novels, no hip hop magazines, no ghetto novels, no hip hop magazines. No ghetto novels, no hip hop magazine. But if you a nurse, a therapist, a social worker, community organizer, parent advocate, parent support group, and you want to present at Dr. Umar's single black parent conference, what do y'all think about that? What do y'all think about that? Single black parent conference with a black book fair, a black market, a black marketplace, a black book fair. Oh, yes. I'm about to. I've already changed the game, but I'm really about to change the game. See, I've been playing with y'all these past 13 years of being the number one king of all black consciousness on the planet. I, I was just playing with y'all the past 13 years, being the king of black consciousness on the entire planet, seven continents. I just was playing with y'all. Now it's time to get down to business. Single Black Parent Conference coming soon. 
featuring black marketplace, black book fair. I want all the black children's authors to be in the building. We're all my black children's book authors who got children with natural hair in their books. Where are all my black children's book authors at? Make some noise. Where are my black children's book authors at? Shout out to all my black children's book authors. With natural headed black girls and boys. With dark skin, black boys and girls in your book. Light skin, black girls and boys. Brown skin, black girls and boys in your book. Single Black Parent Conference. Now, let me say this to the brotherhood. Let me say this to the brotherhood. Let me say this to the brotherhood. Don't come to the Single Black Parents Conference. Wifey shopping. My brothers, do not come to my Single Black Parents Conference wifey hunting. If you want a wifey hunt, you come to the conscious singles convention the conscious singles convention is if you want a wifey hunt the single black parent conference is to help us raise our children you understand me brothers we must stay focused we must stay focused we must stay focused the single black parent conference is not the conscious singles convention the single black parent conference is not the conscious singles convention the Single Black Parent Conference is not the Conscious Singles Convention. We're not doing ebooks, my queen. We want print books. Computers are bad for our children's eyes. Computers are bad for our children's eyes. Everybody's going to need glasses if we're going to raise our children on computer screens. Be careful. The computer screen is not the friend of your child's eyes. We want printed books. But anyway, getting back to the point. Document, document, document. Document, document, document. Now, I don't know what your definition of coon is. I don't know what your definition of sellout is. But if there is any definition of a sellout, the gangster rapper has to be at the top of the list with Jesse Lee Peterson.